Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you that how you can create your own current style transition in Adobe After Effects. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I will create a new composition. And this composition has our final render where we will place our old compositions. And we will rename it as transition. And its width is 1920 in, and height is 1080. And even though we need only two seconds for transition, but I think duration is good. Okay. After that, I need to create a brush reveal composition. And for that purpose, I will change its width to 2500 and its height to 600. And I will rename it as Brush Reveal Composition. Hit OK. In order to get straight line, I will enable the grids and also title action save. I will increase its scale to increase its width. OK. That's good. And now I will use trim path to animate this stroke and and around one minute at 15 seconds, I will make it 100%. And I will easy ease this by pressing F9. Also, I will enable the motion blur. Now, I will use this effect and preset panel and I will use an effect that is called rough and edges to make the edges rough so that it looks like it's a brush stock, not a straight line. Now you can see the edges are a bit rough, but I need to make some changes here. You can follow these. And so now you can see it looks like it's a uh, ink or rust talk. Now what I need to do, I will duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D and and I need to make some changes in this because we have already added this effect. I will change this to 500. So now you can see we have a good brush style stroke. Now what I need to do, I will pre-comp it and now I need to add a brush stroke uh, vector file. I have got this file from Freepik and it's free file. You can also download it and don't forget to attribute that. Now I will import that vector file. Now I need to select of three of these brush strokes that I will use in this tutorial. So I have selected these three brush strokes that I will use. Now you can see we have already pre combed this. I will rename it as brush one. Okay. Now I will add the first one. I will copy this and I will paste it here. Uh, 
I will draw a mask around it. Okay. That's good. So it's black color and I will use the effect that is called invert to change its color to white. We can also use fill and in toggle switches I will change the track mat to alpha mat. So now you can see our brush stroke is ready. In this way I will create two more brushes. What I will do, I will duplicate this brush. It is brush two and I will get this layer from here, place it underneath, delete this one and add effect invert here, change its angle. And good. Changing its track mat to alpha mat. Now you can see we have brush 2. It's time to create brush 3 stroke. And I will delete this. Now I will use layer 8. We'll add this invert effect, change angle to 90. So now our brush chalk is ready and I will change the track mat to alpha mat. And you can see our these three brush strokes are ready. Now it's time to create a new composition in which I will place all these three brush strokes that I have created. And I will rename it as Transition Brushes. Sorry, I forgot to change its width to 9, 1920 into 1080. Okay, that's good. Now what I need to do, I need to add these brushes strokes in a way that they will completely fill the whole screen. So let me do it. So you can see that these brush strokes are filling the screen. Now I need to duplicate this and rearrange them so that we can fill the screen with these brush strokes. So you can see that these brush strokes have almost filled our screen. The empty space that is left, I will add a new solid, change the color to white, and I will make it to the end of the layers. Now what I will do, I will change the opacity from 0 to 100 so that it will gradually increase the opacity and fill the screen with a color. Okay. So now you can see our transition brush is ready. And it's time to add our image so that our final composition is ready. I will get an image from free source. You can get the image from Pixels, Unsplash or any other stock image that you have. Okay, so now I have imported the image. It's quite a big image. And we will increase its size up to this. It's look good. And I will use an effect that is called CC Lens. And change its size to somewhat this. 
this is good and i will make it to go to this okay and now i will increase here the size so let it look animating i will easy ease these both keyframes by pressing f9 So now you can see our image animation is ready and what I will do, I will add this transition brushes above this and change the track mat to alpha mat. So you can see now our transition is good. Okay. So in this way you can create your own grunt style or brush style transition in Pro after effects i hope that you like this tutorial if this helps you kindly do share and do subscribe till then i will see you next video bye bye